Hey there, Tomas here with Whitetail Coffee and um, was about to make some afternoon pour over on a lovely Sunday so figured um, take a video of it and show some of you what it's like. Um, there's a lot of toys here that um, we use in my kitchen to make coffee um, and today we're going to do a simple pour over and split it into two cups. So starting out is with the grinder so we have a Barazza Encore and we want it set to 14 on the grind level. And then we want to make about 500 milliliters of coffee. So that means about 30 grams, 33 grams of coffee. So we're gonna weigh it out in a trusty scale. And here's a cool trick that I've learned, which is using the top of the grinder, you put it there, you turn it on, that automatically zeroes out the scale. And then we can weigh out the 33 and a half grams of coffee for this. So here we have uh, Whitetail Orestes, um, roasted on February 4th. And we're gonna weigh out 33 grams of this guy. Seven. Thirty-three. Thirty-four and a half. Thirty-three and a half. And the nice thing with this is that you just take the coffee and pop it in there. Um, all right, our water here. Sorry, that's so loud. Using the digital kettle Bonavita. It's at 196. We want the water to be at least around 200. Between 195 and 205 is what people like to brew coffee. Um, I find that after 200, you get a little bit of the burning taste. So, why not do that? So, get it to. 200 and in the meantime we have a setup here. This is one of the original prototypes of Whitetail Coffee Double Gripper made by one of our trusty founders that are great with their hands in making tools. Um, Alright, our coffee is ground. But now that we have our water, we want to start prepping the pour over filters. So we just want to wet it and get the paper wet and get any kind of paper taste out of it. And this also warms up the system. So we get a little bit of water in there, warms up the various components, and this we can throw up. <coughs> then we can take our coffee, that's now nice and fine, fine grind. Move this into here. Put it in there, give it a nice slap to get all the grinds out of there, turn that off. Let's check out our temperature, It'll still be 200, perfect. One of the things you wanna do when you're making a pour over is give the coffee a chance to open up. So the way that you do that is you start pouring a little bit of water and then you just wanna allow the grinds to have full contact with water, but not to start making the coffee. And you want to do this, um, as you can see, I'm not the best at doing this, but good enough. So we wet the majority of them, and here we have uh, roughly 30 seconds you want to wait. And as you can see, the uh, coffee grounds start to bubble, which is a good indicator that all the coffee grounds are getting wet, they're getting opened up, and they're getting primed to release all the coffee goodness out of them. So, 18 seconds, 19 seconds. Um, in the meantime, you can smell it. You can do something else. I don't know. Okay. 30 seconds. Clear that. And now we just want to start going for the actual extraction. And so the way that I like doing it is by no means very scientific. But I start pouring water in a circular motion, and then the actual Hario um, container has nice marking. So here we want to go to 500. And here you just want to make sure that you get ahead of the grinds so that you can you don't want to have the water make contact with the grinds for too long. You get bitter coffee that way. 
Some people like having an actual scale to measure out the full coffee um, and water, but I today will just be winging it because most of the variables have been accounted for. Gonna let that finish extracting. That's gonna probably put it around the 500 milliliter mark of coffee. And we're gonna have some fresh whitetail coffee pour overs. I wish I could dance or sing. Taste. We can get the cups ready. Timer there, we don't need it for anything. And looks like we're at 450. We're getting close to being done. One tricky thing here with the extraction process is what happens when you're done with the filter and the uh, ceramic pour over holder. And I just like to swap out the two containers in the bottom. All right, calling it. It's about 500 milliliters of coffee. So. Take that, put it right on top of another cup, put it on the side, and now we have fresh pour over. That's it. So, white tail coffee, fresh pour over. Um, any questions, comments, leave it in our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. Um, any tricks, any improvements to my technique that's always improving and uh, that's it have a good Sunday PS um, just tasted it it's amazing but in true nature gonna use some heavy whipping cream organic heavy whipping cream on our coffees to top it off yes the purists will definitely hate this but find that nothing better than a little bit of heavy cream in your coffee